Hi, it's Park Man from Paul Man Antiques. With me here is a new item to our inventory. This is a um, early 20th century whaling harpoon. It is wrought iron. It was made by Charles Peters, probably around 1915 to 1920. Uh, this is what's called a temple style or toggle harpoon. Uh, this part here would rotate like this. And the way that would work would be held in place with a small little piece of wood. Uh, it is affixed to a historically accurate pole with historically accurate rope work to it. Overall, the length is about 91 inches. And again, the harpoon itself is about 32. Now, if you look up close, I, don't, I doubt we're gonna be able to cover this very well, but written upside down, right about where my finger is, it says Peters on there. And a little research on Charles Peters, um, he worked in the New Bedford area, and later his shop was actually preserved by Mystic Seaport. So that, that's a nice little fact that if you're in the uh, Stonington, Connecticut area, you can go to Mystic Seaport and uh, hopefully see his shop. So again, um, period, early 20th century whaling harpoon, about 91 inches overall in length. Uh, and even though, you know, this is not old, they were, by the way, these rarely ever survived. Uh, the reason being that these were just made from saplings uh, because these could often break or the harpoons could be lost altogether. So they were very basic, uh, just a piece of long sapling like this. Uh, really nice example. People like to keep them sometimes like this, but I, I really like to present them with the overall shaft and everything. I think these look terrific over a mantle place or any long horizontal spot. Uh, I like to... Uh, uh, imagine that every house on Nantucket or in the Cape or any place was a whaling port, uh, New Bedford, rather than having a shotgun over the, uh, over the, um, over the fireplace, there should be uh, a harpoon over the fireplace. I think that's just terrific. So a great example of an early 20th century whaling harpoon. And thanks again for watching. If you have any further questions, uh, please leave them in the comments or contact us at paulmaddenantiques.com. Thanks again.